Hello, Joe here from Infinity of Tacoma. Today I'm gonna to tell you about this awesome 2019 Tesla Model 3 Standard Range Plus. One awesome battery electric vehicle. Uh, maybe you're thinking about getting into the EV world and what better way to get into EV ownership is than a Tesla. I think, you know, it's and obviously it's my opinion, but I think Tesla makes the best battery electric vehicles out there. One reason is that they've been doing it for a very long time. They started making their first Teslas uh, the, the Roadster about 2008, 2009, 2010. So they have a pretty, you know, big head start over everyone else. And they've built about 3 million electric vehicles. Uh, so they have more electric vehicles on the road than pretty much anyone else. So they have lots of experience with EVs. So the Tesla Standard Range Plus, which this one is, has a EPA range of 240 miles. But that can be deceiving. Uh, the thing with Teslas, not all of them, uh, but Tesla's equipped with uh, lithium-ion batteries like this one. Uh, the lithium-ion batteries don't like to be charged to 100% every day. So you can use a slider right here to control the state of charge on your Tesla battery. So you can set that to 100%. Uh, charging will take longer at 100% and it's not good for your batteries, your lithium-ion batteries to charge them to 100% every day. Tesla recommends that you charge your batteries about 80-90% on daily use and then every once in a while for a long road trip it's okay to charge them to 100% but for daily use to get the maximum life out of your batteries only charge them to about 80-90%. I have a Tesla myself, in fact I have a 2019 standard range plus just like this one so I charge my batteries, uh, I have it set to 85%. For me, uh, charging my Tesla to 85% will yield me about 180 miles usable range. So the deceiving part is, okay, you can see your EPA range 240 miles, but real world range is about 100, you know, 70, 180 miles. So that might factor in to someone like you who's thinking about getting an EV. That might not be enough range for your daily commuting, especially if it's over 100 miles a day. In that case, you might want to think of getting a Tesla long range of a longer battery pack of about 300 plus miles. Um, so, uh, you know, that's the thing that people don't always realize. And the other thing you have to uh, realize about EVs is that EVs are more efficient in the round of town driving. So, uh, you know, they'll get very close to what their EPA range is in the round of town driving, but when you start driving on the highway in the EV, especially 70, 80 miles per hour, and if it's cold, um, if it's raining, inclement weather, that can also affect the range. You'll notice that, uh, you know, going on the highway, your EV is going to start chewing through range faster than you're actually using. So maybe if you're driving, you know, 50 miles on the highway, it's going to maybe use 70, 80 miles worth of range. So that's something to think about EVs. For someone like me, I drive 20, 30 miles a day. For me, 170, 180 miles is plenty of range for daily use. And on those times where I do need that extra range, Tesla has a lace in the hole. It's their supercharging network. Uh, there's superchargers all over the place. There's two within six miles of us. That will give me a fully charge, uh, a full charge in about a half hour to 45 minutes. Uh, some superchargers are faster than the others. You can see this one's 250 kilowatts versus 150 kilowatts. So that will charge. You know, you know, you get a full charge at that one in about a half hour. Well, this will take about 45 minutes. Uh, but really, no one can compete with uh, Tesla supercharger. They have 30,000 throughout the world. The majority of in the United States, and pretty much you could travel anywhere. Uh, in the United States using these superchargers. In fact, like we're in Tacoma, Washington. If I want to go across the whole state of Washington to Spokane, you can put it in your uh, navigation system and your car will calculate it for you. Since I'm only at 97 miles, it's gonna have me charge at North Bend. So there you have it. Um, you know, the vehicle will, the Tesla will, uh, you know, figure out your charging. It won't leave you of range anxiety. Just as long as you, you know, navigate to where you're going, you're, you're aware of what charging op options are on you, you should really never have any issues, you know, running out of juice in your car. And even though you know where the supercharger is, it's always good to navigate to it because you can see right now it's preconditioned the battery for faster charging. So it's getting that battery to a happy temperature so it will charge uh, as efficiently as possible. So always navigate to the supercharger, even if you know where it is. So you notice these uh, cool uh, Google Maps that Tesla has. This comes with premium connectivity. It's $10 a month. It also allows you to uh, stream uh, music. You can stream videos, Netflix, things like that. Uh, pretty awesome stuff. I think for 10 bucks a month, it's well worth it. I really enjoy their music streaming stations. I love music. Uh, you can also use your phone as a hotspot too if you want. 
uh, though you do get a few extra benefits uh, using a Tesla's premium connectivity. And like I said, 10 bucks a month, I think it's a lot of, a lot of bang for your buck. If you don't like the uh, map views, you can go to the illustrated map views. Uh, really crisp parking camera, uh, very high resolution. All right, so uh, you can notice that the majority of the functionality is in this screen. Um, you know, Tesla is constantly updating and improving features. Uh, so the cool thing about, you know, having the majority of functionality of the vehicle on the screen is it's infinitely configurable like your iPhone. You can get a big update on your iPhone and the whole display functionality changes. So Tesla is always improving the system. And unlike an analog car, which has fixed buttons, uh, having a smart car like this, uh, you know, Tesla, it's getting better even as it gets older. Um, it's improving, it's getting uh, features added onto it. One feature they just added is this blind spot camera. This car has been out for years, but all of a sudden they did an over their update, didn't cost the extra money. And now when you put your turn signals on, you have this blind spot camera. That's just a drop in the bucket. You also have a Tesla's amazing mobile app, which gives you a real uh, connection to your vehicle. So you can check up on security cameras. You can check up on the state of charge. Uh, you can uh, put the climate control system on. You can put the heated seats on, all from your phone. And these over there updates, um, and then the, uh, the, uh, the app for your phone. I haven't seen any manufacturer come close to what Tesla's doing as far as these features go. It's quite amazing. And Tesla has excellent battery technology. Uh, people sometimes ask me, you know, when am I going to have to replace the batteries in my Tesla? Well, you know, uh, they're actually really not designed to be replaced. Like when you buy a car, you know, a gas car, the engine is not designed to be replaced. People don't ask me, hey, you know, when am I supposed to replace the engine in my BMW? Well, the engine is designed to last the service life of the vehicle. Uh, likewise, you know, batteries are designed to last the service life of the Tesla. Just like, you know, cars, sometimes, you know, engines go bad. Sometimes batteries go, do go bad in Teslas. It is pretty uh, unusual for it to happen. It's very rare, but when it does happen, you have a long warranty, you know, up to 100,000 miles. Uh, I believe it's 10 years or seven years, 100,000 mile warranty on the battery and drive unit. Save lots of coverage. And, you know, replacing batteries is cost just as much as it uh, is to replace an engine. So people sometimes think, oh, you know, you know, electric cars, you know, batteries can be really place, re really expensive to replace. Well, guess what? <laughs> Engines and transmissions are really expensive to replace too, you know. You take a high-end BMW or Mercedes, you get to replace an engine and transmission, it can cost twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 if not more. So, uh, you know, that is really kind of a bad argument. And uh, you notice there's lots of storage in the Tesla. You have a completely flat floor of the batteries. So even though this is a compact vehicle, you have lots of interior space. You have lots of space in the trunk. You have a frunk, which gives you more space. It's also a safety feature. You have this crumple zone to absorb, uh, you know, 60% more crash energy than a regular car with an engine in it. You have all this space. Uh, well, you have a crumple zone that I should say 60% larger than your average car. Uh, and uh, it makes it one of the safest vehicles on the road. In fact, if you go to Tesla's website, they have a special page dedicated to the Model 3. It's the safest vehicle ever tested by any net metric by the NHTSA, lowest probability, probability of injury uh, in a vehicle accident. Uh, so, you know, Tesla Model 3 has a lot of things going for it. Great performance, 0 to 60, 5.3 seconds, top speed 140 miles an hour. It's, it gives you amazing performance. Uh, it's very smooth. You don't feel the vibrations of an engine. You don't feel transmissions shifting, downshifting. Uh, the driving experience is very remarkable. Um, and it's hard to go back. I kind of equate it to, you know, going from a flip phone to a smartphone. Not too many people <laughs> want to go back to a flip phone after experiencing like an iPhone or a cool Android powered phone. Uh, likewise, once you experience a Tesla or an EV that's similar, how smooth it is, the instant power, uh, the amazing infotainment system, it's pretty hard to go back to a regular gas car after experiencing, uh, you know, all its amazing benefits. Thanks so much for taking the time today to watch this video. Hopefully we'll see you soon and have a wonderful day.